gentlemen, my name is Dylan. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic today. Yes, we are going to take a look at the movie Coraline. I, I dare say that's the pronunciation of this animation movie. I'm looking forward to it very, very much because people have been talking about it. And this was requested on, um, well, no, sorry, this won a poll a while ago. So now this is coming this month, so I'm hoping everyone over on Patreon enjoys this, as well as everyone over on YouTube as well. I know that, uh, judging by the front, it's like a dark, gloomy sort of animation, so I'm not too sure of this. It looks like a, something haunted, yeah, from the, from the thumbnail, yeah. It was quite difficult to get it here in Spain. I had to do a couple of things, but it was quite difficult, but... Like I said, guys, I'm looking forward to it very, very much. So let's just jump straight into it. As you guys know, I jump in blind with a lot of my first time watching. So I get some guesses right. I get some guesses wrong. It just depends. It, it depends how I'm feeling in the day. If I'm feeling lucky, then generally I get the guesses right. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, if you want to go check it out in full, it's over on Patreon as well as movies and TV series every single day. And Patreon at the moment, there's a discount. Go check it out, guys. So you'll be happy with that, and I hope you all are satisfied. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Oh, what the heck? Creepy, but interesting. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is animated or the other type of animation is called. What was it called? Ah, uh, uh, is it stop animation? I think that's what it's called. Yes, stop animation. Yep, it's stop animation. So we learn how to do stop animation. I've, there's another specific name for it. I'm, I'm not too sure what it's called, but stop animation, let's just say, yep. I wonder if the whole movie's been done like this. Bro, this is so well done. What the heck? This would have taken so long to do. So you have to realize, if this is stop animation, what you just saw with, like, 30 seconds or 40 seconds, it probably took, like, an hour, two hours. Amazon. Yeah. Oh. oh, black cat. Be careful with that. I think this is a girl from the front that we saw. Can I just say that this is absolutely beautiful? And if this is stop animation, this just makes this even more special. Holy crap, man. Make a wish. I don't think I've seen anything like this in a movie before. Postman Pat? Postman Pat was similar to this. I think Thomas the Tank Engine was like this, the original, wasn't it? The poor black cat just probably wants to play. Was she scared living where she's living, but yet she's scared running through where she's running? Living where she's living, she's she wasn't scared. You scared me to death, you mangy thing. Mangy. It is quite mangy, isn't it? I love kitty cats. Magic dowser, magic dowser. Whoa! That's sick! How awesome is that? Look at that! Wait! You know what? For a PG, this is quite strong. This is a quite strong PG. Because it was rated PG on the cover. Alright. That's cool. Kids would be terrified of this thing. That's a sick outfit. I want that for Halloween, bro. That is sick. Uh, let me guess. You're from Texas or Utah. Someplace dried out and barren, right? Dowsing ride. Ow. And I don't like being stopped. He's not uh. really my cat. He's kind of feral. You know, wild. 
Sometimes they'll come in my window and bring me little dead things. <laughs> Wait, I'm from honey. Then where's the secret well? You stomp too hard and you'll fall in it. See? It's supposed to be so deep. Surprise she let you move in. My grandma, she owns the pink palace. I'm YB. YB Lovett. Short for Yborn. It's Coraline. Uh, Caroline what? It is Coraline. Coraline. Coraline Jones. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, I definitely heard someone. Why were you born? <laughs> I'd wear gloves next time. It's poison oak. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> She wouldn't be able to help herself. Look, she's gonna look down there. Whoa, that's a long way down. I would have died. That's nice. Huh? Hmm. No, Coraline, rain makes mud. Mud makes a mess. But then we had the accident. It wasn't my fault you hit uh, that I, truck. I, I know I exactly what this is going to be similar. Like her, her, I don't know if she has a dad or what, but her mum, definitely 100%. Her mum doesn't really pay attention to her at all doesn't let her be a kid and she's very hygienic and doesn't let her be a kid oh some kid left this on the front porch oh so they're new hey, here Jonesy, right. look what i found in grandma's trunk you look familiar white huh oh a little me it's a doll of a That's doll weird she just throws the paper on the floor. Oh, well, he's not Dad. that much organized, is he? Dad. What the heck is going on here? Hello, Coraline. Mm, what'd the boss say? Don't even think about going out, Coraline! <laughs> this house is 150 years old. Go out and count all the doors and windows and write that down. On Where's the balance, mate? Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever... No, I will be honest. I don't think I've ever said that to my child at all i mean look it's like 1 50 in the morning and i'm recording when the kids are asleep i'm working as a, as the kids are asleep when the kids aren't here i'm working that's really weird i'm getting a bad vibe about the parents i'm getting a really bad vibe but also the dad's right in a sense too like this whole huge house use your imagination to create your own fun yeah that's what we had to do that's what we had to do when we were young there was five of us boys in the one house not the biggest house in the world oh. Oh. the thing is in australia you can have the cleanest house in the world in australia i'm telling you guys right now the cleanest house and you'll still get these big flying wooden cockroaches. I mean, like, cockroaches that are about this big. Yeah, and they have wings. And they sound like this. The flying cockroaches. You can have the cleanest house in the world. But because there's a lot of woods, a lot of outback area, the cockroaches love it. It's about appreciating, appreciating everything. No, 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 no! Oh, I hope he's saved. Oh no! I hope he's saved. One boring blue boy, and no more doors. Uh oh! It got up and walked. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Huh? Hey, Mom! There, is, there are doors. Door Will you stop pestering me if I do this for you? Ah, oh, come on, Mama. Don't like that. He's gonna let your daughter go into some random door? They must have closed this off when they divided up the house. You're divided. kidding. Can you, you didn't lock it! Ah! Oh, I have a feeling that was oh, a bad idea, not she, locking it. She girl. Why don't you ever cook, Mom? Coraline, we've been through this before. It looks more like slime to me. Now what's it gonna be? There you Think go. Think they're trying to poison me? Don't forget about me, guys. Oh, look, okay? she had friends back home. Good night, little me. What's going on here?
I told you this was a bad idea. Leaving that door unlocked. Bro, this is creepy. Wait, the bricks aren't there anymore. Whoa. It's like another universe. Look, it's, a, it's her house. Look through the gap. See? Huh? Some sort of parallel universe, isn't it? Hmm, something smells good. Mom? You're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your other father that supper's ready. Hello, Coraline. My father can't play piano. No need to. to tell you the food's ready. Mmm, who's starving? I feel like they've done this for a reason, though. I feel like they've done this for a reason. They've showed the two parallel universes because they want to show her that, I don't know, there's some things coming into my head that I, I don't know if they're correct or not, but they're trying to show her a message here. That it's Our mother's golden... Chicken breast. <laughs> Chicken best. <laughs> no? Dad joke? Anyone? Mm. No? I think gravy. Well, here comes the gravy train. Choo choo. Oh, huh. that's cool, isn't it? Another roll? Sweet peas? Okay, I know what's going to happen. It's showing her a world where everything is perfect. But I have a feeling she's going to hate it. been waiting for you, Coraline. For me? Yep. And soon as you're through eating, I thought we'd play a game. Hide and seek? Perfect. <gasps> Hide and seek? What rain? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, you bastards. What about the mud? <gasps> it's great for poison oak. How'd you know I... Oh, chocolate mud I... cake. I better get home to my other mother. Yeah, this but is creepy. I'm your me other mother. Well. Of course, sweetheart. It's all made up, but... Come along, sleepyhead. It's more creepy having these parents than it is having the other parents. What's shaking, baby? Hello. How's it going, loafer? Where's your swampers and chook? You're both coming, right? We're already here, Coraline. Gone to Oregon? The mud. <sighs> Look, if this is stop animation, this Seriously? is magnificent. <gasps> it's gone. Uh. My poison oak. It's gone. Yeah, she's back in the it old place. It was place. incredibly real, Mom. Coraline, you only dreamed you ate all that chicken. Orange. My monkey slippers are blue. Coraline, why don't you go visit downstairs? So was it a dream or what? How did her rash heal, though? I don't understand. Oh, Jeez. Who we? So she's living with someone else. The house is split. Didn't realize she had a neighbor. Hello? Don't go inside. Oh no. Secret. <gasps> Circus brought this for you. Yeah. The stinkiest of kind of cheeses I Bad love. Plan. Mushkas? The mice. <sighs> oh. Ah. And I am the amazing Bobinski. <sighs> so now I switch to stronger cheese and soon watch out. Huh? Here, <laughs> have beat make you strong. Oh, and oh! I thought it was a beetle. No, beetroot. Ah, beetroot. Yeah, okay. Hey, Caroline, but I see bay. No. Oh, the mice asked me to give you message. Do not go through little door. One behind the wallpaper. Sometimes the mice are little mixed up. They call you Coraline instead of Caroline. <laughs> no whistling in the house. Oh, jeez. Rockies. Oh, how nice to see you, Caroline. Would you like to come in? Ah, uh, so they must be uh, retired entertainers. Like. It's the new neighbor, Miriam. Caroline. Are those dogs real? Oh, sweet yeah. 
So we had them stuffed. Now, there's... I'm not judging anyone that gets their animals stuffed after death, but I find it a little bit creepy myself, personally, but I've seen plenty of people that have had their animals stuffed. Euthanized, I'm pretty sure the pronunciation is. Cousin, twice removed. <laughs> I'll read them if you like. <laughs> They'll tell me your future. Oh, no. Drink up then. Go on. Dad, dad, okay. Going to a fortune teller creeps me out. I don't want to know my future. I don't want to know. I don't want them to tell me in the next 10 years you're going to suffer. A, I don't know. A miserable death or something like that. I, I know they probably won't say those sorts of things, but... Ugh, stuff that. Stuff that. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That's right. Now hand it over. You are in terrible danger. Oh, no. Oh, you see what I mean? Oh, give me that. There's a tall, handsome beast in your future. See? Danger. What do you see? What should I do? Never wear green in your dressing room. Was there something you came to tell us? Thanks for the tea, though. Hello. Cheer bye. Whoa. Danger? What the heck is happening out here? Bro, how sick is this? This is honestly amazing. The village stalker. Ow! I, I, I wasn't stalking you. Ha! Your cat's not wild. He's a wuss puss. Blue hair, my swampers, and raincoat. Dang! No, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm actually agreeing with her and also disagreeing with her at the same time because she's she's actually got a whole whole life there that she can essentially be creative on her own, but also her friends she doesn't have any, and also her parents. Neglect her. Quite a bit. So there's that too. So, I mean, I feel sorry for her at the same time. I feel sorry for her. I feel, I feel so sorry for her. You know, I've never been inside the Pink Palace. I think it's dangerous or something. When they were kids, Grandma's sister disappeared. Look, I, I gotta go. Wait a minute! Wait, was that... That door was at the window, wasn't it? Remember, you got warned. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. She's a kid. She can't control herself. Oh, wait a sec. That painting on the wall with that kid with the ice cream. In the other house, it's different. I don't think he was hunched over like that. That could be me. So thoughtful of you to send this nice cheddar, Gorline. Cheddar? Your better father, dear. He's out in the garden. Hmm. Go on. I don't like what's going on here. It's too good to be true. I'm sorry, but it's too good to be true. <laughs> so I'm wondering if this place... I'm wondering if this place, whatever she wishes for in the other place... ...comes to fruition in, in this place. So in the real world... When she then goes into this world, her wishes from the real world, real world come true in this place. It's a very, it's a movie that you have a, you have to pay close attention to. It's a very psychological. It's not a typical animation, is it? It's not a very typical. Well, it's not. It's a stop animation, but it's not a very typical one. Very different. Very, very different. Hey. Oh, it looks like a... Uh, I love your garden! Daughter in distress. Tickle no more, you dragon snappers. Breakfast. They're actually shaped like Boosh. dragon heads. Look. Oh, how beautiful is that? Look at that. Well, she knows you like the back of her hand. Mr. Bobinski has invited food? you to come see the jumping mice perform after dinner. While you and your friend... Head upstairs. Great. Another way. What happened to his eyes? He's Hello? mute. Doesn't talk. I thought you'd like him more if he spoke a little less. So I fixed him. What the so heck? He can't talk at all. This is creepy. Nope. I like it. No. Now run no, along too. No, you don't. Have fun. 
This is so hurt. good. This is honestly so good. <laughs> oh, I thought so. If you remember when he when she pro she knocked on his tool the first time, it looked like a circus that was in there. So, it's a pretend circus in the real world, but in this world, it's an actual circus, but I don't get it. An amazing you see the mouse logos here? Mouse. Look, look at the mouse logos. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to play, pay close attention here. Right? I'm sorry if I'm, not, uh, if I'm not talking too much, but I'm trying to pay close attention to a lot of these. Well, maybe I am talking. I don't even know. Oh, nice. What an entrance. Very, oh, look at his eyes. Very, thank you, lady and gentlemen. What a fine ironic, we though, is that... Remember her parents said in the real world, go find something blue and write it down, and then she comes across the next-door neighbour? I find it really ironic. All of this surely is going to mash to make sense. Amazing! <laughs> you are very welcome any time you like. Wait a sec. What the heck was that? Fascinating. What is that in the other world, though? It's a turtle shell right now. I'm missing something here. No, oh, Mum locked it. Oh, and upstairs, I saw a real mouse circus. Don't fret, Charlie. They'll love the new catalog. Well, I guess I'll see you around, you dizzy dreamer. Ugh. Are those gloves made of gold? What the heck? $24? Put them back. But mom! Yeah. The whole... <laughs> Put them back. My other mother would get them. Maybe she should buy all your clothes. Yeah, exactly. Go on. You better be careful, missy. So You're not you helping at all. Then why'd you lock the door? Oh, I found some rat crap. Safer. <laughs> You're jumping my smile. The dreams aren't dangerous. They're the most fun I've had yes, since we are. moved here. You better be careful what you wish for, I'm telling you right now. stupid uniforms? She better be careful what she wishes for, because she just may get it. If things go well today, I promise I'll make it up. Won't be long. But I might. I'm telling you right now, this is not good. This is not good. I'm on her side. I'm on, I'm on, I'm, I'm on Goraline's side. But yet also, she's not helping the situation at all by being the way she is. And I know her parents are neglecting her, but also they love her. They just, they're so focused on their jobs. They, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> it's fully open now. There's no bricks. I hope you like the new outfit I made you. Love, mother. You see how she's manipulating her? She's like a teasing. Hmm. Maybe's got a cat like you at home. She left the door open. The cat probably jumped through. You must be the other cat. Oh. I'm not the other anything. I'm me. Cats don't talk at home. No? Nope. Well, after all, I'm just a big fat wuss puss. Hmm. How'd you get here? I've been coming here for a while. It's a game we play. It tries to keep me up. But she can't, of course. The other mother hates cats? You probably think this world is a dream come true, but you're wrong. Shh. I hear something. The two ladies. Oh, they only have three dogs. I wonder what they are in this world. Known as the siren of all seven seas. They're entertainers. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Oh, oh, it's nightmares. Hey, this is a PG film. What the heck? Uh, the Russian fellow that was at the circus, his apartment, his apartment was a mini circus. It turned out to be a circus in this world. But I can't remember if their place looked like this, like a theater. 
Or did it and I didn't notice? Oh, man. See what I mean? You have to pay attention, guys. You have to pay close attention. Look at the bazoombas. Thank you. Put a fish on it, will ya? Ready to break a leg, Miriam! Did someone cover up this lady or what? Jesus Christ. What the heck is going on here? Ostras! This is why I say pay attention. They're dead. Yeah, they look like skeletons in the in the shadows. They look like skeletons. See, look, they're skeletons. Look at that. <laughs> no. I'm tripping here, man. I, there's just... Oh, look. Look at the projection. Oh, that's... Oh, my gosh. I'm literally trying to concentrate so hard on everything because there's details that we're getting right now. Oh, it was magic. You do like it here, don't you, Coraline? Uh huh. This YB you knows something. Here forever, if you this want YB to. knows something, really? I'm telling you sure. now. For you, our little doll. Black is traditional. In? Or. Oh my chartreuse? gosh. <sighs> Trying to get her to no, stitch her eyes. No way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! Are you guys seeing something here? Now, I was looking at his hair, but then I went to look at her hair because I was like, his hair looks looks a little bit devilish, doesn't it? But then you look at her, look at look at behind her. They're horns. They're the devil's horns. I wonder if she's the devil. There now. It's your decision, darling. I I'm going to bed right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so Ooh, uneasy with I this. I too much already. You're welcome. <gasps> You're creepy. And I, soon you'll see things our way. Go away, you weirdo. Quite literally, Coraline, you have to find Jesus Christ. Sorry, don't you want to play? Where's your buttons, Loper? You want to stay, don't you? Go to sleep. 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 Mom! Dad! She's still there. Oh God. You wished for it. You said you weren't coming back for a while. Remember? Hey, you! Where's the other mother? Her strength is our strength. If you won't even talk to me, I'm gonna find the other whitey. Face. And mother didn't like it. Uh. Oh my gosh. Where's the, yeah, I was about to say, where's the black do you cat? think? I'm getting out of here. That's what I'm doing. She only made what she knew would impress you. Mm. But why? Why does she want me? So she's a she ruler of the other world. She just loves something to eat. Eat? How can you walk away from something and still come back to it? Stop! He's one of the circus mice! Oh, a rat. But this one was sounding an alarm. Yeah, this cat can be your, uh, your savior now. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think hard. I'm trying to think very, very hard. Whoa! Oh, yeah. They say even the proudest spirit can be broken. Of course, chocolate never hurts. Like what? Oh. There I want to be my real mom and dad. Is that any way to talk to your mother? You aren't my mother. Two. Uh-oh. Three! Ow! What are you doing? You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. What the heck <laughs> she, did she just turn into? I've never had to Who's think it? 500 miles an hour like this, ever. There's something so psychological about this movie. I'm telling you right now. Where the bell down might be listening. You mean the other mother? Ghost. Who are you? But I remember my true mommy. The bell down. She spied on. It was the doll. The doll. Oh my gosh. So these other kids are what is they're. They're what uh, 
Coraline used to be. It, Coraline is right now. That's what. The, that's who they used to be. So she's done this to them, to to kids before. Ah. So she lured us away. And she uses it. Yep. And treats and games to play. Yep. All right. All yep. Exactly what mean. she's doing to Coraline. So Wonder I'll, if they mean. Actually means she can't like. Keep me in the them. dark forever. Yeah. Beating her. It's my only chance. Lighten our eyes, mistress, and our souls will be freed. I'll try. Why me? Oh. Why me? Did she do this to you? Jeez, man. I hope that feels better. Coraline? Is that you? Come on. She hurt you again. How dare you disobey your mother? No! Jesus Christ! Run, please! Close that bloody door! Close that bloody door! Seal it! Lock it! I'm home! You see, look! Anybody here? Oh, God. You see, look! I was right, the painting was standing up! Wow, so I'm she, home! she takes kids' as soul, basically. Hello! It, it truly is a horror movie! Real it's a horror movie! Oh, they're going all rotten. Oh, that's disgusting! Where's her mum? Never. The why be the talks, huh? <laughs> Where's um, her parents gone? So, you know that that old doll I, I gave you? <laughs> My grandma's real mad. It disappeared. You stole that doll, didn't oh, you? Oh, so I wonder if her grandmother was one of the kids. Well, if his grandmother's sister was one of the kids, and I'm going to say something far-fetched here, but maybe. Grandma's missing sister. I think I just met her. Yeah, the little girl. Listen, I don't go in there. He's in there. C can you, uh, can you unlock it? Not in a million years. So, uh, I really need to get that doll. You and Grandma been talking? The doll's your spy. The other mother. She's got this whole world where everything's better. You can ask the cat. The he thinks cat. she's going crazy. I'll, I'll crazy. <laughs> the jerk one that gave me the doll. Mom, Mom's car's Dad. there. So where are they? I don't understand. Where have you gone? Are they, are they in the house? Or Walking Dead style? Are they in the barn? Caroline says her parents have vanished quite completely. What? Your missing parents. We know just what you need. Mary. These three numbers are very significant. There you go, sweetie. No, they're good for lost things. things. Lost. Bad. Lost. Lost bad. Wait, there's what the heck is going on here? There are so many things that bad I need things, explaining. Miriam. Lost things, April. Bad. Lost. Bad things. Lost. Bad. Lost. Bad. Lost. Bad. Lost. Have a look at the picture. Oh, I thought she had the doll in her hand. Okay. But have a look. She's got brown hair. Good night, Mom. Oh, poor her. Good night, Dad. I wonder if they're being held captive from that other person. I thought her eyes were so shut then. Hello? Oh no. Oh no, in the wall. Mom? Dad! How did this happen? Oh. oh. She's taken them. She made dolls for them too. I was about to say some other words then. I thought her head was floating then. It was skinny neck. What is this? Detroit Zoo. Only one thing to do. Go back in there and rescue them. Go for a lion. Go for a lion. To find something that is missing. You know you're walking right into her trap. They are my parents. Challenge her then. She's got a thing for games. Coraline, you came back for us. Mom! It's not her. Darling, why would you run away from me? It's not her. Gosh, I have no idea where your old parents are. There. Have a seat, won't you? Mm. Bloody rat. Why don't you have your own key? The garden squash need tending, don't you think, pumpkin? Be strong, Coraline. Why don't we play a game? What kind of game would it be? 
an exploring game. And what is it you'd be finding, Coraline? My real parents and the eyes of the ghost children. Huh. If I lose, I'll stay here with you forever and let you love me. And I'll let you sew buttons into my eyes. And if you somehow win this game... You let everyone go. My real father and mother, the dead children, everyone you... A ghost's eye is lost in plain sight. And for my parents? <laughs> it's a deal. What does she mean? Wonders. Uh-oh. Watch out. Coraline, watch out. Oh, Jesus. Well done, Coraline. Oh, bees. Oh, what a hit. Use the stone. Why steal this? Because it, yeah, it reveals what is lost, remember? That must be it. Boom! Okay, so one of the kids are saved now, yeah? You found me, but there's two eyes still lost. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, what's that sound? The two ladies. That's your next one. The two ladies is your next one, yeah? Oh my god, just hold the rock up to your eye. Jeez, man. Hidden in plain sight. Uh oh, the hand's gonna close on it. <laughs> nice, Coraline. You're doing fantastic, aren't you? Well done, Coraline. You're doing so well. One more left. The next one is the circus dude. I keep forgetting his name. Evil witch! I'm not scared! I can tell why for kids this would be terrifying. Hello, Galobushka. Is this what you're looking for? You think winning game is good thing? Stay here with us. You can have whatever you want, Fuzika. Oh, he's, oh, he swallowed it, did he? Or was it on his neck? You don't get it. Just a copy she made of the real Mr. B. Not even that. Oh my gosh, bloody rats! Bloody rats! Oh no! Oh no, she threw the rock as well. Oh no. Oh god. I've lost the game. I've lost everything. Oh, look. There's the eye. Oh, the cat got it. Oh, I think well I done. Mentioned that I don't like rats. <laughs> awesome. It looked like that. you needed this one, however. That's all three of them. I'm heading inside. So they're inside the house, that's for sure. See, when she got back here, right, the chandelier was showing, and I heard, rip, rip, rip. so I wonder if you're in there in the chandelier. So, you're back. I brought a friend. You have a very funny way of showing it. Oh, look at all the fingers on her hands, all right? So, the ghost eyes. <sighs> Hold on, we aren't finished yet. You still need to find your old parents. Too bad you won't have this. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier to find. <laughs> would have been a lot easier to find her parents with that. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. I already know where you've hidden them. <laughs> They're behind that door. Oh, they are. <laughs> Oh, they're in the globe. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Open it. They'll be there, all right. They aren't there. You're going to stay here forever. Voila! Take that! Run! 
Run! Run, Coraline! Oh no. Oh my gosh! Where are you? Like a spider, they sense they sense the movement. They sense sound. Oh, jeez. Run. Run, Coraline. Jesus Christ. Coraline, we're home. Mom, Dad, I miss you. Oh, no, you broke my favorite snow globe. Get now she's going to appreciate everything a lot more. Your knee. We're going out Ooh. tonight. We got a lot to celebrate. But look at the snow on your clothes. What's gotten into you, Coraline? If I was you, I'd brick that freaking entrance off oh, forever. Oh. So, gonna you order the tulips? What's that? For the garden party. Don't forget the invitation. Even Bobinski? He's just eccentric. <laughs> but it's exactly what I said at the... Oh, she ended up getting the expensive gloves. Oh, look, the booty tat. Oh, you still mad? I'm really sorry I threw you at her. He it ripped her eyes me. out. Mm -hmm. She's changed. This changed her. That's brilliant. I think it's time. Don't you? To set them free? It's a fine, fine thing you did for us, miss. I'm glad it's finally over. It is over and done with. For us. You're in terrible danger, girl. The key, miss. There's only one at the Beldum will find us. Beldum, Beldum. Beldum. still living. So there's going to be a number two. There's going to be a Coraline two. <gasps> I got to hide this somewhere. So somewhere she can never... Out of my way. She's going to use a dummy to try and find... All the rats. Oh. Oh, oh jeebus. I give you lots of kisses. Oh, this is creepy, man. Oh, no. Ah, oh, here he is. Oh, you bloody... Nice. Was that the cat again? Oh. Down the bloody hole you go. Where's that bloody lid? Good riddance. I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't believe you about all this. Hey. Why did you change your mind? Well, Grandma showed me this picture. It's her and her sister. The sweet ghost girl. Hmm. Just bring her by the house tomorrow. I'm glad you decided to stalk me. <laughs> <laughs> Pink ladies. Actually, it's just lemonade. Oh, excuse me, moi, but that pizza was delicious. <sighs> but the tulips look nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. They tell me that you are Savior, Caroline. I grew up here. Welcome, Miss Lovat. I'm Coraline Jones. Hmm. I've got so much to tell you. What are they going to show us here? They're going to show us something. The well? The cat? Yeah, right. All right, guys, let's just do a quick review of this, all right, now that I'm back. One thing I want to reiterate with you guys is is very evident with inside of this film. Very, very, very evident. And that's to be careful what you wish for because you just may get it. And that's big. That is massive. Because she was wishing for different parents for so, so long. She was wishing to change... The way her parents were. But the parents, you got to realize that they moved from another place because their parents, at the end of the day, the parents packed up their life as well. And it was all, it was obviously, it was stressful for all of them, yeah? But also, I can see from the daughter's perspective, which. Uh, Coraline. I can see from her perspective as well. It was stressful on her. 
but it wasn't helping that she was acting the way she was. And sometimes when you're a kid, you don't realize what you have until you're a little bit older. When I was younger, when I was really young, yeah, I always used to see my friends and that with a whole pile of money or the latest toys or the latest video games. And sometimes I used to wish, I used to wish I had those sorts of things. Sometimes I used to wish that I had all of what my friends had. But then, as I got older, I began to realize that when you appreciate the things that you do have, then it makes them that much better when you do use them. For example, I'll have, I don't know, I'll have a bike that's very old and I don't use it because it's old. But my friends, they have this latest bike, this newest bike. And I look at that and I say to myself, or I wish that I had their bike. What I don't realize is I have a bike that works just as fine, but just because it's old doesn't mean it it means that I don't want to use it. When no, I can use that bike. And as I got older, that's what I started to do. I started to wear my brother's clothing, my brothers that were handed down from brother to brother to brother to brother. My brother's clothing, shoes. My oldest brother, to my second oldest brother, to my third oldest brother, and then to my fourth oldest brother. They were they were all handed down to me. And I started to appreciate that more because I couldn't, if, I could be in a situation where I didn't have the option for those sorts of things. And it wasn't until I started working myself at the age of, 13 and a half, when I was working myself and also going to school, working, going to school, working, it wasn't until I started seeing how truly hard my parents worked to provide for us boys, to provide for us, our family. And like I said, yeah, we didn't go to the parks a lot and things like that. But I sat back and I looked and I just, I truly appreciated how hard they worked for us. We didn't, like I said, we didn't have the most money in, the most money in the world. Didn't have a lot of money. But my parents worked hard for it. My parents worked hard for us boys. And like I said, as you as I got older, I began to realize that, especially when I was working at 13 and a half when I first started working, especially when I was working, I started to realize that when it comes to getting things that you want in this world, eventually you have to get them for yourself and you can't rely on other people to get them for you. You can't expect someone to be in your shoes, yet you be the successful one. You can't expect someone to be in your shoes, and yet you get whatever you want. No, you have to be in your shoes to get what you want. When you're, for example, if you become a manager or a boss, at first, with bosses, at first, you have to be in your own shoes. You have to be in your own corner. You have to be working your ass off to get what you want. And like I said, when I got to that age, 13 and a half, 14, it really started to to open my eyes, especially when I was able 
to give that first paycheck to my parents, to my mum. And I remember that that the very day I was able to work full time. I remember that very first paycheck, that full paycheck I gave to my mum. And that was, that's nothing compared to what they did for me. Of course, I know that. There's absolutely nothing compared to what they did for me. What they did for me was incredible. Absolutely incredible. And it's what parents should be doing. So I know the first paycheck, the first two paychecks, sorry. That, it, it doesn't put a, it doesn't sum up what they did to me. What they did for me, sorry. What they did for me, it was, was something that you couldn't put money on. But it was just the way of myself growing up and showing appreciation for what my parents did for me. And not necessarily what they didn't do for me. Because like I said, all parents, all parents, and none of them are perfect. No one's perfect. We're all humans. We're not perfect. So I used to focus, I, I started to focus on as I was getting older, all the good things they did for me. All the good things my grandparents did for me. All the good things that people did for me growing up. And it truly did, did it truly did make me realize who was in my corner and who wasn't. Or whose corner I was in and whose corner I wasn't in. This film has it's it's got a lot of things that can teach young kids about working together with their parents in this life in this world to make their lives better because it wasn't till the end that Coraline appreciated her parents for who they are appreciated their parents more and then you saw the reciprocation you saw the 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 atmosphere got a lot better didn't it it got a lot lot better because of the reciprocation from the parents And this is what I try to preach to the young kids that I teach. Preach, teach, rhymes. I try to tell them that you shouldn't be demanding respect before you give it. You give respect to get it. You respect your elders, and your elders will respect you. You may not think, oh gosh, they're not respecting me, they're not listening to me. That's, you realize they were raised different. The elder generation was raised different. So your respect that you're giving them, it's working. But you may not see it. Sit back and assess and have a look on what respect you're getting back. So that's one thing I've taken out of this is the relationship between family and wishing for something that you have to be careful because if you do get what you wish for, it may not turn out to be as rosy as you think. Another thing I've written down is herself, Coraline, her going into that other place, that other dimension, and going up against Beldum, she learnt how to defend herself, how to stick up for herself, how to rely on herself, not always relying on her parents, yes? Because at the end of the day, your parents aren't going to be here forever. So you have to defend yourself. You have to eat your own meals. You have to make your own bed. And you have to sleep in your own bed. Metaphorically, yes? So that was brilliant how they did that. And also, all the little hidden messages within inside of this movie 
all the little hidden things, all everything, everything that was like, like even when there was the picture, the picture changing, everything. It was like a problem solving movie, but yet a lot of psychological battles involved with it. Like her, Beldum, her specialty of psychologically trapping you into doing what she wanted you to do. It reminds me, it reminds me of the real world. How we have those, those, not necessarily, they could be friends, but those people that are in our lives that badly influence us in a way. They're the ones that tell us to have that extra drink. They're the ones that tell us to stay that extra little bit at a party that's getting out of control. They're the ones that tell us to have that certain drug. They're the ones that are telling us to do that extra little thing. And you may think that it's cool. You may think that it's good. You may think that it's amazing at the time. You may think, you may wish beforehand that you were in this situation and then the situation comes about and you go to do it. You don't realize what the consequences could be. What could happen at the end. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I don't I don't have much more to say other than this stop animation was sensational this must have taken them so long i dare say it would have taken them a couple of years to do it was amazing it was absolutely amazing how they did this absolutely amazing and i take my hat off to everyone involved everyone even the voice actors the voiceovers were brilliant absolutely brilliant so i appreciate it a lot because like I said the amount of time and effort not that animate animations don't have a lot of time and effort put in towards it at all I know that of course I know that but the stop animation is next level is next freaking level and I appreciate that next level commitment as well because it is a commitment so no for, for me I would give this film I'd give this film a solid 8. A solid 8 out of 10. A solid 8 out of 10. I truly did enjoy this film. Only because it kept me... My, my heart was was pumping next level because it kept me on my seat. I, I was so focused on everything. Everything that was going on. All the little clues. All the hidden clues. And this makes me think that from the ending that we saw, maybe there could be a Coraline 2. I don't know, maybe there is a Coraline too. You have to let me know, guys. But like I said, I enjoyed it. I truly did enjoy it. For a PG film, that was pushing the envelope. That was honestly pushing the envelope. My kid would be terrified. My son would be terrified. He'd have nightmares. There's no way I could show my son this. <laughs> He'd have nightmares. So, for a horror film for kids, it's a good one. It's a very, very good one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to sleep. It is currently half past five in the morning. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Everyone on Patreon, stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow, well, later today, you will see, uh, I think, either a movie or The Walking Dead. I'm not too sure. I'll have to see. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.